first graders, we're going to be working on your words this week that have two special things happening. The first one is we're going to have a silent E at the end of your words. And when we have a silent E, it likes to influence or control the vowel that's in front of it. I'll show you a couple of examples of that. The other thing that we're going to have to deal with in your list is this phonics rule. When we have a C followed by an E, I, or Y, the C is going to say the S sound. Also, the G, when it's followed by an E, I, or Y, it will say the J sound. Every other time, the C is going to say the K sound. The G is going to say the G sound. The only time it's going to say these other sounds is when it has an E, R, Y after it. The second half of your list deals with this phonics rule, so that's why we need to learn it. I'll bring this card up again when we get to those words. I'm going to show you a couple of words that have the silent E, and I'll show you how we're going to mark it so that you can remember the silent E phonics rule. It's one of the syllable types. We've been dealing with closed syllables, one vowel followed by one or more consonants, and the vowel is going to be short. Now we're going to deal with the silent E to make the vowel long. So let's sound out our first word. Made. I made some cookies. M. Mm. A. D. So we have three sounds, so we'll use three boxes. The first sound is M. Mm. My lips are closed. M. Mm. The M. Let me change the pins right quick so that you can see this well. Mm. The next sound is A. A. You hear it? It's saying its name. The letter A. The next sound is D. D. Sounds like a drum. That reminds me the bubble is first and then the line. D. You make a magic C up to the top, down, and bottom. Now, if we leave it like this, it looks like mad because one vowel followed by one or more consonants is a closed syllable. The vowel should be short. Ah. But I said the word was made. How are we going to make this say the long A sound? We use a silent E. So a silent E makes no sound. So it does not get its own box. Remember, these are sound boxes. So we put the silent E in the same box as the D because it does not make a sound. So watch as I write the letter E. I push out, up, down, and around. Now let me show you what that E is going to do. Cross it out because it does not make a sound and draw an arrow over the D and make it point to the A. The silent E can jump over one consonant, one of these letters, to make this one say its name. So we put the long mark over the top. That's called a macron. And the macron reminds us it says its name, A. Another way you can remember this is sometimes you can remember it as the bossy E <coughs> or the N. The lively letters materials, it's called Mean King Ed. And so the E has a crown on the top, and he doesn't like, he's a mean king, and he doesn't like other vowels to be in front of him because nobody's in front of the king, right? So if there's a vowel in front of him, he wants to know, What is your name? And then he realizes he's very rude. So he goes to the end of the word and he's very quiet because he realizes he is not very nice. He's very rude. <clears throat> so you could do bossy E, mean King Ed, uh, any of those that helps you remember that the silent E influences or controls 
the vowel in front of it to make it long, so it says its name, A. So now the word is not mad, it's m a d. As you touch and say the letters, m, when you get to this one, do your silent E finger and your first vowel finger because that lets you know the silent E is helping to control the vowel in front. And then D. Let's do another word. Safe. I put the money in the safe. S A F. The first sound is S. The S. A. I hear the letter name. A. And then I'm biting my lip and I'm blowing quiet air. It's the F. We hook up and then down and then cross. To make this a long vowel, we need to use the silent E. It goes in the same box as the F. We can cross it out, jump over the F, point the arrow at the A, and draw the macron on the top of the A. So we have S A safe. Let's do another one. The next word is going to be oops, too far. The next word is going to be late. I was late for the movie. Late. O A T. The first sound is O. My tongue is up. O L. Start at the top and go down. A. The letter A. It's the T. Start at the top, go down, and then cross. Well, right now we have a closed syllable. One vowel followed by one or more consonants. The vowel is going to be short. Ah, that's not our word. It's not lat. We want to spell late. So this needs to be the long A sound. So we'll use a silent E. Cross it out, jump over the T, draw an arrow to the A, and draw the macron. Now it's O A T late. The next word is name. I like my name. M A M. The first sound is M. Mm. My tongue is up, my lips are open. Mmm, that's the end. Start in the middle of the box. Go down, come up on the same line, swim over, and touch the writing line. <coughs> the next sound is A. That's our A again. By the way, all of our words in our list have the long A sound. And the next sound is Mmm. My lips are closed. The air comes through my nose. Mmm the M. Swim over two times. Now we need to make this a long A, so we use the silent E. Make sure you still have room in the box. Squeeze it in. Cross it out. Jump over the M and put the macron over the A. Name. I'm going to stop the video now so that you've got enough. Uh, it's about nine minutes long. I uh, want to make sure that we spend enough time on the soft and hard G and C um, phonics pattern. Next. See you back for those words.